Here's how you can create this glitch effect here in Photoshop. I'm gonna choose this artboard size as a reference. And from here, I'm gonna go to the filter, sharpen, and select on sharp mask. Here, I'm gonna increase the contrast nice and high. I'm gonna bump up the radius quite a bit. The threshold is gonna be on zero, click OK. I'm gonna go to adjustments, select the curves, maybe add some more contrast. And I'm gonna go back, select black and white. I'm gonna press and hold shift, select all the layers, or right click convert a smart object and I'm gonna press ctrl j to duplicate the layer and I'm gonna press ctrl j again so we got three copies and I'm also gonna rename them the first is gonna be a red second green and the third blue now let's go and double click on the red layer and go to the channels and deactivate the green and the blue click ok now let's double click on the green layer uncheck the red and the blue click ok and now but least let's double click on the blue layer Uncheck the red and the green, click OK. And I'm gonna select the green, press and hold shift, press the left arrow. So it's gonna push the green layer on the left. I'm gonna go something like this. I'm gonna select the blue layer, press and hold shift and press the right arrow. Or you can go and just select the layer and drag it. And I'm thinking to push the blue quite a bit. So it's gonna be something like this maybe. Now press and hold shift and select all the three layers, right click, convert a smart object. And let's go and select a solid make it white click ok and make sure that the foreground color is black right now it's white i'm gonna swap it so make sure that the foreground color is black and the background color is white now we can go to the filter filter gallery convert smart object and let's go to the sketch select the half tone pattern here we're going to change up the pattern type to a line and i'm going to decrease the size to three and also decrease the contrast to zero click ok now let's go and save this file, save as, and make sure to save it as a PSD file. Click on save. I'm gonna rename this layer, lines, collapse it, and let's uncheck it. Select the layer with the model, and let's go to the filter, distort, and select this place. I'm gonna go to the horizontal scale, and I'm gonna increase it to 20, and the vertical scale, I'm gonna decrease it to zero, click OK. And here we're gonna need to import the PSD file that we saved previously. Click on open. Now I'm gonna go back to the layer with the lines. I'm gonna activate it. Now let's go to blend mode, change it to multiply. And I'm thinking to place these black lines on these new wavy effect that we created. So I'm just gonna pull it on them like so. And I'm gonna go to the opacity and decrease it. I'm gonna go with 40. Now we're gonna create more glitch effects. So, and we're gonna activate the longer shortcut. So make sure that you're on the layer with the lines and press Control plus Shift plus Alt plus E. So this way is going to merge all the layers in a new layer. So I'm gonna rename this with a new shortcut so you know it. And now let's go and select the rectangle marquee tool. And all you have to do is select pieces of the model. For example, here, press Control C, Control V. And this way you can reposition it however you like. Now let's go back to the original layer, select the marquee tool again, and repeat this process until you are satisfied. After you're done, you can select the layers with the cutout parts, press and hold shift, press ctrl G to group them, rename it, and now I'm gonna activate that long shortcut again, press ctrl plus shift plus alt plus E, and I'm gonna convert this into a smart object. Let's go to filter again, distort, displace, I'm gonna go with 20 again, click OK, and I'm gonna select the lines again, click open. Let's go and select the smart filter, select the brush, and with the black color, you can remove some of the effects. Let's go to the adjustments, select the curves, and I'm gonna add more contrast. And about least, we're gonna add some noise, select the solid color again, make it black, click OK. Let's go to filter, noise, and select add noise. Convert smart object. I'm gonna go with like 27, click OK. And change up the blend mode to screen. Now I'm gonna duplicate the noise layer, press Ctrl J. And I'm gonna select the top noise layer and go to filter, blur, and select Gaussian blur. Here I'm gonna go with 2.7, click OK. And let's go to the image, adjustments, and select levels. And here I'm gonna bring the right handle all the way to the left, and the left handle to the right, it is going to make this really cool, colorful noise effect. And that's how I make this glitch effect here in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.